Take you to Tasia, where five people have been confirmed dead, 29 have been rescued, and 30 are listed as missing following the collapse of a six-story building in Tasia, Embakasi East constituency here in Nairobi. Operations are still ongoing in a bid to rescue more lives with fears that many could be trapped under the rabble. Chamutai Goin has more. More than 10 hours after rescue operations started in Tasia, they continue in a bid to save more lives. <laughs> By evening, 29 people had been rescued, with some receiving treatment at various hospitals in Nairobi. The building collapse has so far claimed the lives of five people, among them an infant. It is feared that the numbers could rise, as rescue operations expected to stretch late into the night and likely into tomorrow continue. Serikali, Iko Timam. Namnaona Bifa Ambao uh DRU Disaster uh, Recovery Unit ya Kenya Defense Forces Wanangangana Kujaribu Kuo Okoa Maisha Ya Watu. The multi sectoral rescue team comprising Kenya Red Cross, the military, the police, St. John Ambulance, and counter responders employing the use of excavators and drills in attempts to reach those trapped under the rubble. We had to come with initial equipment, but we found some may not be, be used. Because, for example, the excavators, which came first, if you start excavating, we may cause more damage or even injure the people who are there. So the KDF now have taken the charge so that they know which best method to use and which equipment to use in order to save lives. <laughs> By late afternoon, some of those trapped could still be heard calling out for help. At 5.30 in the evening, a mother and an infant were pulled out, and fortunately the infant has passed on. For Bill Hawanjiko, who's lucky to be alive, it's a case of mixed feelings. Nimepata mtoto, mtoto alikuwa mesha, alikuwa metoka, alikuwa metoka, hapendi kucheza kwa, kwa randi ndani. Sasa mtoto alikuwa metoka, meenda kucheza kwa dekia ingine. Sasa venye nimekuja tu nimezunguka zunguka nikitafuta mtoto na nimekutana na yeye kama analia haoni baba yake baba yake alikuwa anafua na sijemuona mpaka sahi this images mattresses sandwiched between the heavy slabs clothes that were hung on the hanging lines utensils strewn all over the rubble paint a picture of what is left of the six-story building that had 48 rooms and was fully occupied it collapsed friday morning around eight o'clock the owner commonly known as mama kanyoni and caretaker home authorities expected to give the details on the occupants are nowhere to be found the owner is not available but you still get him as we continue Definitely. The so. owner was so not far. staying in the building. So far, let us concentrate on yeah. the rescue on mission rescue. so that we save Investigations lives. will continue. <laughs> Engineers were also at the scene carrying out their investigations that will help establish what led to the collapse. The building is said to be over 10 years old, with preliminary reports indicating the area it's constructed on is swampy. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.